Hey everybody, this is Tina of Via Feng Shui. Hey, I'm just wanting to do a really quick tutorial, a, a really good Feng Shui tip. When you're putting artwork, um, or even figurines or statues in your space, because you want to shift the energy, make sure that you're being really careful with the placement of it. When you have an image or a water feature or a statue that shows movement, so whether it's a path that's you know walk, going through a forest or waves crashing or horses running um, or a water feature that's trickling water you know spewing water spouting it in a specific direction make sure that it's always coming into the home rather than out of the home and i'm going to give you an example here in a second um, just to kind of plant that visual so even when you're out shopping or if you have something in your house already hanging up on the wall you want to make sure that when whatever wall that it's on, that the energy is moving into the space, in towards the center of your home or your office or your business, rather than sending it out outdoors or out the front door or outside. Because our ultimate goal with um, you know placing feng shui treatments and, and making changes is to bring the chi, to activate it, enhance it, and, and elevate it so when it comes to us that we're getting the best of it. We don't want to be pushing it back out. You know, for instance, a lot of us, we see um, water fountains in front of people's businesses or homes, and it's pushing the energy back out, and it's that's making the chi struggle to get to you. Um, <clears throat> And she is good luck, it's opportunities, it's money, it's good health, relationships, it's all of that stuff. So we want to make sure that we're coaxing it and we're, we're directing it by creating these paths, kind of like leaving little breadcrumbs for it to find the center of our home or the center of our lives, to find our space. Because anytime it feels resistance, it's going to give up, right? It's going to go on to the next house or the next business because this is too hard to, to get to the front door here. So once it gets up to the front door, we want to keep it coming into the house. We don't want it to immediately pro be projected out. So I'm just going to spin my phone around here to show you a, an example of this artwork I have here. Now you see how these branches are, are directed in. So this is, this is my front door here. Um, and then this in the entrance way is a painting. Okay, so if I had this on the other wall, on the opposite wall, then those branches would be going out. And I don't want them to be going out. I want them to be directing the chi, saying, welcome, and this is the way to go. Go this way. We don't want to go back out the door. We want it to go this way. So keep that in mind when you're, you're going to buy stuff or maybe you see something on the wall. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go move that to another wall so that the chi is coming in. Same with statues. You want the energy coming in. Um, it's just a symbolic, energetic representation or intention of this is what I want. I want good chi to flow to me. So good luck with all of that and I'll see you soon.